Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you a very easy and simple vegan jambalaya recipe. I found this on Pinterest and I wanted to share it with you guys, so if you're interested, then go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so the first thing I ended up doing was me and my friend Haley went to Clark's Nutrition, which is a local grocery store where I live, and we ended up getting all the groceries from there. And we filmed a little bit of like vlogging clips. They're probably not the best, but we're beginners, and hopefully in the future we'll get a little bit better. But we ended up getting all of the groceries from there, and I have a clip later that said, that shows all the ingredients that we got. But um, And then I'll also go ahead, and in the description, I'll put the website that I got it from, and then the um, ingredients, and the steps, and all that good stuff. But everything is going to be on that website that I found off of Pinterest. Um, yeah, so my friend Haley wanted to go ahead and help me out and she was really interested in what vegan jambalaya tasted like so we ended up making it together. She's the one you'll kind of see in the video and um, she's actually in the final taste test. So these are all of the ingredients for our vegan jambalaya. We have black beans, garbanzo beans, kidney beans, our crushed tomatoes, our organic vegetable broth, garlic, one yellow onion, our two cups of uncooked white rice. We have our Tofurky original sausage in the Italian flavor. We have our soy sauce, Tabasco. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get thyme and dry, I believe, parsley, or what was it, dry, something else. So I just went ahead and substituted ah. garlic salt and some seasoned salt. We have red pepper, smoked paprika, uh, oregano, and then of course some pepper and then salt, which isn't in here, but we're gonna go ahead and put that in at the end. Our little mixing bowl for the seasonings, our little spoons, celery, red and green pepper, and some parsley. We're going to go ahead and get started, and yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So we ended up making the recipe exactly pretty much exactly how the um, online uh, recipe called for. The only thing that I didn't have was um, dried basil, thyme, and sweet paprika. Everything else I had. Oh, and two bay leaves. Um, the, the grocery store that we went to unfortunately was really, really expensive, so I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the recipe. I knew it was going to come out good no matter what, so we just improvised. I put like garlic, um, garlic salt and um, you know, salt and pepper to taste, so it didn't end up coming out bad or anything. And then I also went ahead and grabbed a vegan sausage from uh, Clark's Nutrition. When I first had this recipe, I was in high school and I made it in my um, senior culinary class and it has sausage and shrimp and chicken and kind of whatever kind of meats you want. So I kind of wanted to bring that back um, and you'll see our reaction in the end taste test. But Basically, the recipe is very, very simple. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to heat a large pan over medium heat, and I added a tablespoon of olive oil. And then once that reaches, um, once that gets hot, you're going to add the onions, garlic, peppers, and celery. And then you're going to heat that over with the medium heat until all of those veggies are nice and soft. Then you're going to go ahead and add the crushed tomatoes, the liter of veggie stock, your herbs, your spices, and the sauces. And then I want to go ahead and stir that. And then I went ahead and added the two cups of uncooked rice, and then you're going to want to go ahead and stir that evenly so the rice is evenly distributed. Once all of those ingredients are in, you're going to want to bring the rice to a boil, and once, it is, once it's at a boil, you're going to want to lower the heat and cover it. So I put it to like a medium low heat and then I went ahead and covered it. I ended up cooking this for about 32 minutes, a little bit in between 30 and 35, and the rice came out perfect. It stuck to the pan just a little bit, but that was probably just user error. And then once all the rice is tender and cooked through, then you're going to want to go ahead and add your three beans. We added kidney beans, um, chick yeah. Kidney beans, chickpeas, and black beans to the recipe. We let that sit on low heat for about five minutes so everything can kind of marinate together. And then after that, we go we went ahead and topped it with parsley and green onion. With those vegan sausages I talked about earlier, I went ahead and just sauteed uh, two on the pan, and then I cut up just one for us to try. Um, we just put it on like the edge of our bowl to kind of make it pretty for Instagram and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, and then we ended up tasting it, and I hope you guys enjoy that taste test that we have. Hey, here we go. 
All right, guys, so we are going to taste our beautiful vegan gumbo with our vegan sausage on the side. So let's cheers our plate. Cheers. All right, let's do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rice and the, the goods by itself. Mm. Mm. It does taste like Spanish rice, which is yeah. all the goods inside. But it's good. I'm gonna try the sausage. This is Haley's first time eating any truly vegan meat. Yeah, sausage is bad. I think it just tastes like just like meat. I think it's I think it's good. Yeah. Okay. Quick little story time. I made this in high school in my culinary class and I truly fell in love with it. So my friend Haley was yeah. Friendly, yeah. And it was so good. It did have real sausage, it had shrimp in it. And when my Haley was like, let's make a vegan video, I'm like, you wanna do it with me? I definitely say you guys will try it out. I will put the um, recipe in the description below. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. I hope you truly enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>